As a result, the threat from traditional anti-armor munitions today significantly pales in comparison to the challenge posed by a new adversary, small plastic FPV kamikaze drone. Not only are they inexpensive, but they can also be assembled in any basement from readily available parts ordered on Ally Express. War, first and foremost, is an economic battle, and eventually the budgets of both sides run dry. Therefore, it is frustrating when a cheap drone is hit by an air defense missile that costs 10, 20 times more and that is produced in smaller quantities. But when a tank that costs between three to eight million dollars is hit by a $500 drone, it becomes truly tragic. Considering these risks, an urgent action was needed. It didn't take long for tanks to start becoming even more covered with anti-cumulative grids and more densely equipped with dynamic protection, including safeguarding vulnerable areas like gun manlets or turret tops. As for protecting the upper part of armored vehicles, visors have become widely used. Initially conceived as makeshift protection against ATGMs targeting the roof, such as Javelins or NLAWs, where they indeed effectively saved tank crews' lives, their true potential was revealed in another realm, anti-drone protection. Obviously, visors, especially their early variations, did not provide 100% protection, as they did not cover all the vulnerable areas of the tank where an FPV drone operator could direct his drone. That's why over time they started to grow. Later on, full-fledged chicken coops appeared, and then visor protection began to be factory-made. Some tank models, like the T-80, received individual double visors due to their unique construction, as they required an additional canopy to protect the air intake behind the turret. 